Welcome to our lecture online, and here's another very practical example of radiation and the cooling effect of radiation. So let's assume that you're out in the woods camping out, and you're in your sleeping bag at night, and let's say that uh, you're just on the tarp, open sky above you. How much heat are you losing through radiation? Well, imagine that the, the outside of the sleeping bag is at a temperature of 5 degrees centigrade, and a good sleeping bag is, is one where there's so much insulation that the outside of the sleeping bag is nearly the same temperature as the air around you. Because if the outside of the sleeping bag is warm, that means that a lot of heat is transferring from the inside to the outside of the sleeping bag, and that would not be a good insulated bag. And secondly, the warmer the outside of the temperature of the sleeping bag, the more that it will radiate out into, the, into space, because the dQdt, the amount of heat radiated uh, per unit time, is equal to um, uh, E sigma, the area, and then, of course, the temperature to the fourth power. So the warmer the outside of the bag is, the more heat it's radiating out. Secondly, you want to be somewhere where you're covered over by some sort of shelter because then you're not exposed to space. Then actually the shelter, even though the shelter may be at a very cold temperature, let's say minus 5 degrees centigrade, same as the outside temperature, it will still radiate heat back to you and you'll be a lot warmer uh, when you're underneath a shelter like that. So let's calculate the difference. So first we're going to do this case right here. Uh, the area of the bag, let's say that it's about two meters, about two square meters in area, then uh, we get this is equal to 0 0.9, which would probably be a good approximation for the emissivity of the bag, times sigma, which is 5.67 times 10 to the minus 8 watts per square meter per Kelvin to the fourth power, times the area, let's assume that the bag has an area of about two square meters, and the temperature would be 5 degrees centigrade, of course we have to convert that to Kelvin, and 5 plus 273 is 278 Kelvin. So that would be the amount of heat being expelled to, uh, to space, and if there's nothing above you and it's a wind still day, then, and then there's no clouds in the sky, then uh, a lot of heat will be generated and the bag, the outside bag, will get very, very cold. Now, Keep in mind that if it's a cloudy day, then the clouds kind of act like a shelter like that. And on a cloudy day, you will not nearly get as cold as on a very, or I should say on a, on a cloudy night, you will not get as cold as you would on a clear night. So this, let's see what the numbers are here. So we have 0 0.9 times 5.67 e to the 8 minus times 2 and times 278. And of course, we have to take that and raise it to the fourth power. We can't forget that. Okay, and uh, so then we have 610 watts. So that would be quite a heat loss. So you definitely do not want to be exposed to the atmosphere. If it's minus 5 degrees centigrade outside and uh, you're radiating out to space, you can lose a lot of heat and you might be fairly uncomfortable in that bag of yours. But if you put yourself in need of shelter, then what it becomes is now we have the QDT is equal to E sigma A times the temperature of the bag to the fourth power minus the temperature of the surroundings to the fourth power and if the roof of the shelter is at minus five degrees centigrade, let's say it's open to the atmosphere and it's the same temperature as the atmosphere, still you'll get quite a bit of radiation back from that. So let's calculate what that would be. So this is equal to um, 0 0.9 times 5.67 times 10 to the minus eight watts per meter squared Kelvin to the fourth power. It's four right there. The area, still two meters squared. And the temperature, that would be um, uh, 200, what did we say it was? Five degrees centigrade, so that's 278 Kelvin to the fourth power, minus the temperature of the uh, roof of the shelter, which would be about 268 Kelvin, five below in centigrade. And we have to raise that to the fourth power as well. So what would be the difference here? So I have 278 to the fourth power minus 268 to the fourth power. Multiply the times 2. Multiply times 5.67 e to the 8 minus. Multiply times 0.9 equals. And I get 83 watts. So notice what a tremendous difference it can make on radiation alone. You'd only be losing 83 watts versus 610 watts by being in need of shelter versus being in the open. So if you're ever caught in the, in the wilderness and you want to protect yourself at night, definitely try to find shelter. Try to keep that radiation out into space. Of course, 
If it's really windy and there's wind blowing all over the place and it's snowing, that kind of thing, that's still another story. But at least from the perspective of radiation, a needed shelter is a lot better than being wide out in the open.